Hey, it's Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com, and this is my very first video for this new channel I just sporadically decided to start called EcoVeganGal Uncensored. <clears throat> Probably sounds a lot more exciting than it actually is, but I had to start this channel because a number of reasons. I currently have, like, I guess I only have two eco vegan gal channels. I have eco vegan gal, eco vegan dog. Oh, and I have what a vegan eats. So I have three. The reason I started this fourth one is because I want to record videos all the time. That's that's all I want to do. But I get so picky about them and censor myself so much, and then I end up just not doing videos. Or I get so worked up about them and stressed out about them because I want them to be a certain way, and then I start feeling really overwhelmed with the amount of time that's going to be involved and, you know, what if it's not this or that, that I just don't end up doing them. That's been happening to me a lot recently. And last night I wanted to do like a journal style video and I recorded, I sat there for an hour trying to record like a five or ten minute video and it just never ended up happening because I just didn't like the way it was coming out. I, I wanted it to be really focused, and that's like my aim with the Eco Vegan Gal channels. I want it to be very professional and educational. I don't want it to be just like someone talking to a webcam. But deep down inside, there's a lot of part of me that really wants to just talk to a webcam. And so tonight, I allowed myself some time to um, watch some other channels on YouTube, which I think is really important to do, to just see what other people are doing. And I ended up on I Just Dean's channel, and I've really admired what she's done for a while. Because she's just herself, and she's funny, and she just, like, talks about stuff, and, and she's beautiful. I don't know. There's just something really intriguing. And I found myself watching, like, multiple videos of her that were, like, 10 minutes long, and she was, like, talking about nothing and doing nothing. And yet she would get, like on her main channel, like 200,000 views, and on her like blog channel, like 10,000 views on like nothing. And I just thought, wow, you know, people are out there just watching. They, they want to just see something. And then perfect timing in one of the videos, she started talking about how she wanted, wished that she had just had one channel and all she was gonna do was just talk and be herself and not have to do, live up to the standards she set for herself. And I could totally relate. And I thought, thought to myself, you know what? I just want to be able to do that too. I just want to be able to sit in front of the camera and talk and not worry about like whether it's entertaining and whether or not it it is edited together properly and whatever. I just kind of want to be myself. And if people want to watch, great. And if they don't, who cares? <laughs> so that's why I started this channel. Um, and it feels really good. Like Suddenly, I feel uncensored. I feel like I'm just going to talk. I think, what, how long do I have these days? At least 10 minutes, but I think YouTube, oh, 15 minutes. So I might just end up blabbing for 15 minutes about anything I feel like talking about. <laughs> and I'm just kind of curious if people will be interested. Because I feel like a lot of people that subscribe to my channels just want me to put content up on a regular basis and they get excited about it. And I feel like I'm letting people down if I don't have a video up every day. And then I feel like I'm letting people down if I don't have, like, something people really want to see. Of course, you can't please everyone, but um, I try. <laughs> and I try to give, like, a variety of content. I don't know. It is, it is a lot of stress and hard work to be, you know, have a YouTube channel that you take really seriously. Uh, because you do try to, like, please everyone. You try to please yourself, and you just can't do it all. And it just ends up being really overwhelming. And uh, I think that's why this channel feels so good, is I feel like I can just be myself and not be a perfectionist and just, like, whatever. So here I am. Well, for the next five to ten minutes, I'll talk about some other things aside from starting this channel. Um... There's so much on my mind. That's why I'm really excited about this because I feel like I'm just going to like dump all my thoughts into this channel and like, I don't know, just not care about what people say or think or whether they like it or subscribe to it or whatever. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess last night I was recording these videos that I'll probably end up uploading to this channel at some point. 
had so many thoughts going through my head. It was really intense. Um, and I don't even want to begin thinking about them right now. But then again, I feel like suddenly I don't have anything to say. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what I was thinking earlier is how I feel like YouTube, you know, take I Justine, for example, or this other one, what's her name, like Jenna Marbles or something, or Michelle Fan, like these are like three women on YouTube who've become really successful. Um, and Jenna and I Justine are creating content that like isn't really informative or educational. It's really just entertainment value. And they're getting so much traction on there, right? Just from being themselves. And I realize that I think a lot of people watch others on YouTube because it makes them feel like they have a friend and you it's also this like curiosity like what are they going to say next and and um it's like fighting that boredom or something so I think that's why a lot of people on YouTube watch things you know for me I don't have a ton of time because I'm trying to create more content so I don't usually have time to just watch videos on YouTube so if I see a, a YouTube video is longer than two minutes maybe I'll watch it. If it's longer than five minutes, the chances of me watching it are pretty slim, unless like it was tonight and, or you get like sucked in and suddenly you're watching this stuff. But I feel like for a lot of people, you know, most people that are on YouTube, I feel like have accounts just to watch other people. And it's kind of like this voyeuristic thing or like entertainment or just like trying to find like friends almost. I was thinking about this a lot earlier on, um, well, I was on Facebook, you know, it's so interesting. We're in this world right now where we can make friends with people all around the world and never meet them in person. In fact, I have so many friends through Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and all this stuff that I've never even met. In fact, it was kind of funny. Um, there's this great girl named Kristen who has, does a thousand things, but one thing that she's really been focusing on lately is will travel for vegan food. It's a channel you should go look it up. And uh, she is traveling all across the country. I think she's even traveled parts of the world just looking for vegan food. And I think her, her whole aim is to like go, try to go to as many vegan restaurants as she possibly can and document them so that people know about them, which is great. And she and I have been talking through email and social media for a long time. And I realized we've never met. But then last night she met my boyfriend in Austin uh, at a potluck that they were at. And I was like, how funny is that that he, who's not even totally vegan, meets this girl that he doesn't even know about. And they end up hanging out and talking like they're friends. And I've never even met her myself. I don't know. That seems like a weird thing. But I think you know what I'm trying to say. So it's just interesting. My point is that all of these people, like it's it's weird. Like you probably feel like you know me because my videos tend to be like very opinionated about personal thoughts and all of that um, and experiences, but we've never met. And sometimes I run into you guys and it's really amazing. I love that. But I don't even necessarily need to because I feel like I know you because we talk so much online, you know, you get to know somebody's name or fa avatar, faces, usernames, all of that stuff. So it's an incredible world that we have. And it's amazing. To me, it seems like who would waste their time? Who has the time or interest to watch a video like this one right here? That's like 10 or 15 minutes long of someone just talking. But at the same time, I feel like it's, it almost feels like it's like a friendship. Like, you're sitting there having a conversation. That's how I was feeling when I was watching I Justine earlier. I was sitting there going, wow, you know, like, I could see myself being friends with this girl. Like, she's really interesting. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess people have more time than I do. <laughs> but I envy that in a way, you know. I wonder what it would be like. It's kind of nice, though, when you, you know, suddenly, like, hours have gone by and all you've done is watch YouTube videos. You haven't necessarily learned something, but you've just been entertained um, or, like, felt like you had a friend. And I think that's actually really important, and that's one thing that really keeps me going with the eco-vegan gal stuff is it's, like, I feel like a lot of people don't have friends that are interested in the environment or health um, or veganism, and so they turn to people like me because it feels like I'm their friend, which I am. I feel like I'm your friend. <laughs> so you guys can all consider me your friend, especially with this new channel where I'm just going to talk like you are sitting right there in front of me. 
Um, that's the other interesting thing too is it's like sometimes I, I feel like I'm having a conversation. Obviously it's very one-sided because I'm sitting here talking without anybody talking back to me. Um, but even through like comments and things, I can't wait. I'm like curious which which people from my Eco Vegan Gal channel are going to come over to this one and comment. That's so interesting. I don't. I have no idea. I hope that I, I hope that I'll keep this channel going too. I know I have a tendency to, you know, not live up to everything I say I'm going to do. It's not that I never intend to. It's just that. I don't think people realize how much work it takes, especially for someone that's a perfectionist. It's like, I'm not just going to slap something together. I have companies too that'll send me things and then like a week later they're like, so what'd you think? Or so where's your post? I'm like, um, it can take me months. It, it's like, there are products right now that are, it feels like yesterday I got them and it was like a year ago. And I still have never featured them, even though I love their products. I have products two years, multiple years that can go by sometimes. I have interviews and restaurant reviews that I recorded years ago that I still plan to edit at some point. You know, it just takes time. And, like, you just have to prioritize. And the big thing for me lately has just been, um, you know, focusing on my life and things that are, really matter. And unfortunately, you know, I as wish as much as I wish that I could do eco vegan gal all the time. Sometimes I just don't have energy, or I want to do something else, or I have to do other work that I get paid for. So until until the day comes where I have money, you know, or a whole production team or big sponsors or something that can, you know, a film crew following me around, recording everything, and editing everything for me, which would be my dream, because. All I want to do is just produce content. Like if I could just sit down and record things all day long, I would be thrilled because I feel like I'd be fulfilling all the people that ask questions or put in requests for certain things and I wouldn't have to do as much work. So that's actually what I'm really working towards mentally, um, putting it out there, visualizing that. So, yep, those are just some thoughts. I also feel like this channel is kind of cool because it maybe I'll feel like I'll just kind of be a little bit more myself because I feel like I don't necessarily act entirely like myself through the main Eco Vegan Gal channel. Like you kind of like put on a personality or an act in a way, and like that's the one thing I really I've always valued about I Justine. Sometimes it seems like you know she's hamming it up, but other times she's just sitting there talking, and you're like, huh. This is just so cool. I love that. So we'll see. Hmm. Well, there's a lot more I could say, but I think I'm going to leave it at that. I can't wait to hear all your comments. I wonder if some of you have, like, never heard of me before. No idea who I am. Maybe, like, the name Uncensored, like, brought you over here, and you're probably not even watching anymore, if that's the point. But if you have watched it all the way through, I would love to hear a comment on uh, what you think of this all. Anyways, thanks for watching my very first uncensored video. I might record another one because now that I got going, I feel like I want to keep talking. And I have dogs barking in the background. By the way, it's almost 4 a.m. on the East Coast in Massachusetts. And uh, this is what I've been doing. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to end this video, and I'm going to go record another one about some other, other stuff, like why I have such a weird schedule. So go watch that and comment. And uh, tell me why you're watching. Okay. <laughs> Bye.